The word balagh comes in the Quran a number of times and it generally comes with one specific purpose and that is to contradict a negated proposition or denial and then to affirm its opposite. Let me write that down. To contradict um, a negated proposition or denial and affirm the opposite. So this is the fundamental purpose of the word, uh, the usage of the word bala in the Quran. Let's take a look at the, a few examples of the usage, and inshallah, with this, uh, with, with the demonstration of these examples, it will become clear uh, what this particular sentence means and how these uh, how bala is used in the Quran. Zama al-ladina kafaru al-lain yubathu. Qul bala wa Rabbi la tubathunna. ثم لا تنبؤن بما عملتم وذلك على الله يسير. Those who disbelieve have claimed that they will never be resurrected. Say, yes, by my Lord, you will surely be resurrected, and then you will surely be informed of what you did, and that for Allah is easy. The usage of bala here, as you can see, it occurs here in the words. قُلْ بَلَا وَرَبِّي لَتُبْعَثُنَّ ثُمَّ لَتُنَبَّأُنَّ بِمَا عَمِلْتُ We had said that Bala comes in the Qur'an to contradict a negated proposition or denial and then it affirms the opposite. Correct? So here the, it says زَعَمَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنْ لَنْ يُبْعَثُوا The people who disbelieve they say that أَنْ لَنْ يُبْعَثُوا this, this is the claim. Right? That they have claimed that they will never be resurrected. This is a, neg ne a negated proposition. It's a denial. Right? This is a denial. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes and He says, Qul, say, Bala, yes. Meaning, what you just said, it's not true. And then to the contrary, by my Lord, to the contrary, by my Lord, you will surely be resurrected and then you will surely be informed of what you did. So in this particular case, the, there was a denial, number one. And then number two, the statement that was made was, was negated first. Negated. And then... On the contrary, the actual reality is that you will be resurrected. On the contrary, right? This is going to happen. The tuba sunna, thumma la tunabba unna. You will be resurrected, and you will be informed of what you did. So that's the first usage of bala. In that it comes to bala comes the first usage as a response to a negated sentence. And we had discussed that the meaning here is that, that we find in English is to the contrary, to the contrary. This is where this is the kind of meaning the bala carries in this first instance. The second example comes in Surah Baqarah. The second example that we're taking here. It says, "وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ رَبِّ أَرِنِي كَيْفَ تُحْيِي الْمَوْتَى." And mention, but Ibrahim, Abraham said, "My Lord, show me how." You give life to the dead. Qala avalam tu'min. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Have you not believed? This is a question asked in the negation. Have you not believed? As in, did you not go to school today? The same question. 
He said, uh, Yes, Bala, Walakin liyatma inna qalbi. Yes, I do believe. I do believe. But I ask only that my heart may be satisfied. It's a side point of this, we'll mention a tangent, that sometimes matters of faith, you're not certain about them. That doesn't mean that uh, there is something wrong with you. But you want more proof, you want more evidences, not because you don't believe, but rather because you actually want to strengthen your faith. So he said, Qala bala, I do believe. Walakin inna qalbi. I want to satisfy my heart so that my heart may be satisfied. So here we notice that the statement, the question that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Sayyidina Ibrahim was, Awalam tu'min? Have you not believed? And then his response to this question was, Bala. Um, he says, yes, but I ask only that my heart may be satisfied. So here, the usage of Bala, we find, it comes as a response to a negative interrogative question. It's a, uh, an interrogative sentence, which is a question. A negative question, uh, or rather a question in negation. And the answer is yes. So he says, Bala. And then for that, you can uh, check out the other video in which uh, we had talked about and discussed this particular concept. So here now, the second uh, instance of this, Bala, the first one was to, contra uh, to as a response to a, negative, a negated sentence, and the second is as a response to a, um, to a negative As a response to a negative interrogative sentence in which you actually want the response to be yes indeed as in do you not did you not go to school yes I did go to school do you not believe yes I do believe so this is where this usage comes in the third example that we're going to take here is from Surah Zumr it says Bala qad ayati. but yes they had come to you my verses but you denied them and you were arrogant and you were amongst the disbelievers so in this particular one this is slightly difficult what we find in these verses just the verses that preceded this particular verse is for example this was a conversation uh, this was a scene that, ha that was happening on the day of judgment where a person was regretting the fact that they did not become Muslim when they had the chance. So they would say some things like, لو أن الله هداني لو كنت من المتقين. If Allah had only guided me, I would have been of the pious. So he's, this person in question is saying these kind of statements. So it's not literally uh, a negation, but it has the force of negation. That if only this was done, of if only this was the case, if only Allah had guided me, I would be a Muslim. So, but to negate this, Allah subhanahu wa uses the word Bala here. And he says, Bala, no. What you're saying is false. It's not because Allah subhanahu wa it's Allah's fault that you weren't guided. You yourself. It says, Qad ja'atka ayati. There had come to you my verses. Right? So it's not like you didn't know. Fakadzabta biha. So you denied them. That's what you did. Was takbarta and you were arrogant. You could not humble yourself to your master. Wa kunta min al kafirin and you were amongst the disbelievers or the ones who were so ungrateful to the flavors, favors of their master that they completely denied him. You were of those people. It's not like you did not know of this. You knew. ayati. You knew of this. Our signs came to you, but you didn't accept. So this kind of statement that oh, if Allah had guided me. If Allah gives me guidance, then I will be a good person. It's this; these kind of excuses are not considered anything. And Allah well negates them by saying, "Bala," says, "No, what you're saying is false. To the contrary, this is the situation, and this is what had happened." So this is the last example of how "bala" is used in the Quran. And as you've seen, that they all come with a general um, theme. The general theme being 
to contradict a negated proposition or denial and affirm the opposite. And just to con complete the discussion here, we should add that number three is, uh, it, it's preceded by, um, by a negation, by a, by a negation, which is not literally, but it has that same, it has the same uh, feeling, it has the same force. So these are the examples of um, how bala is used, and as we had said, that it comes to contradict a negated proposition or denial, and then it affirms the opposite. So the disbelievers said in the first type, as a response to a negated sentence, they said that we will not be resurrected. This is what they say. So Allah says, no, to the contrary, you will be raised. Bala. Right? Then sometimes it comes as a response to an, a negative interrogative sentence. Did you not go to school? Do you not believe? Qala bala. Yes, I do. But I want to reaffirm my faith. I want to make my heart, you know, satisfied. And then sometimes it's not really a negation. It's more like it's a denial. It's a, a listing of... It just really excuses. But they capture and they come with the same force as it being a, neg a negative sentence, a negated sentence. So bala is used to say, no, actually what you said is all false. To the contrary, again, the the opposite is true. So the first and the third are very similar, but the difference being that the, f the third one is not really, a, not literally in a negation. It carries the same force. And the first one is a literal negation.